So now we've done an example of completing the square with numbers, kind of nasty numbers, but numbers that made sense. And we're going to do the same thing with variables instead. So remember our first step was to say that C isn't doing us any good. So we're going to kick them over to the other side, put something in this place so that we can create a perfect square. And again, I don't like that A in front of my X squared. So I'm going to divide everybody by A. So I'm left with X squared plus B over AX. And I'm going to add something here equals negative C over A. So the number I'm going to add there, half and square that middle number. So half of B over A is B over so right, I need half of b over a, so that's b over 2a. And I want to square that, so that's uh, b over 2a squared, right? And on this side, I'll multiply it out, that's b squared over 4a squared. So we're doing the same exact thing. You can parallel this side to that side. There's me adding half and square. And what this does is it creates a perfect square. This is x plus b over 2a quantity squared. You can think of that as either half of that middle number or a square root of that number with that same sign. So this equals, now over on this side I just need to grab a common denominator, same as I did over here. Uh, my common denominator is going to be 4a squared, so I'll need to multiply this guy top and bottom by 4a. And so now, I've got negative 4ac plus b squared all over that common denominator 4a squared. And I've done all this work to get that perfect square so that I can take the square root of both sides and I get x plus b over 2a equals plus or minus, and I'm just going to rewrite the top in the form that we're familiar with, b squared minus 4ac, just using the fact that it's nice and commutative to switch those around, and the bottom is popping out of the square root, the square root of 4a squared is 2a. And so last thing to do to solve for x is just to kick that b over 2a to the other side. So x will be negative b over 2a, plus or minus. And they have the same denominator, so I can put it all over the same denominator. b squared minus 4ac. And that is our quadratic formula. We have x equals negative b plus or minus the square root b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. It is gorgeous. Um, if you want to memorize it, you can um, YouTube videos, YouTube Pop Goes the Weasel um, quadratic formula for people singing it. Um, there's also stories about uh, negative boy who couldn't decide if he wanted to go to a radical party. He decided to be square and missed out on four awesome chicks. The party was all over at 2 a.m. So, yeah. <laughs>